Coming up on Skeeter Bass Champs. It's the President's Cup. Oh, two pounder. Always, oh, I don't know, he's get, he getting bigger. He's gotta be the four, 14. <laughs> let, me, let me take a look here. Uh, he is a, he's a pretty good one. He is a good one. Oh, nice fish. Come on, big boy. There we go, boy. Good job. In 1997, Chad Potts and Jeff Welch created the Bass Champs Tournament Organization, hosting amateur oh, fishing one. events throughout the state of Texas. And when Skeeter Boats came aboard as the title sponsor, Bass Champs became the largest team tournament circuit in the nation, boasting the richest guaranteed payback in grassroots competition. So if you love bass fishing and you want to have a great time competing in the biggest team tournaments and big fish competitions, it's time to join us at Bass Champs. Welcome to the Skeeter Bass Champs television series. I'm your host, Fish Fishburn. And on this episode, part two of the all-important President's Cup, a competition, a big bass event between the presidents of the Bass Champs organization, Chad Potts and Jeff Welch. And as you can see, our anglers in the background are underway with part two. They're allowed to have three rods and reels in the boat each, Abu Garcia reels, and the new Veritas rods. Both will be going head to head for a big bass competition. They're only allowed to have one fish in possession at any given time unless culling. Now remember Jeff Welch won the President's Cup just a mere year ago with a great bass. Chad Potts right now has been nipping at his heels because Welch maintains his lead. He currently has a bass that weighs four pounds and 14 ounces. Can and will Chad Potts dominate the rest of the event? We're about to find out. This year, I think this is the first time that it's actually been a fair event because we actually have a set rule, we have a set time. I'm still working as a team, I'm still trying to help. So all I had to listen to for 30 minutes is why did you leave the hot spot? because I want to catch a 414. Hey Jeff, talk to me about the specific baits that are working best right now. You know, we haven't caught a lot of fish, but the few fish we've caught and, and starting to put a little bit of a, if you want, even want to call it a pattern together, typical winter baits is, you know, the war pig, a rattle bait. And the last uh, fish was uh, throwing this power swimmer. Just something we can just tick the top of that grass right off this flat. It's just kind of the rods loading up. They're not real aggressive. Just trying to salvage a good winter day and catch a few bass. Remember that point we started on? It's got grass on top of it. God, ripped it out of that grass. He freaking munched it. He's coming up, boys. Oh. Two pounder. We just ran into that ditch again. As soon as we hit the ditch, Another nice fish, big old fat. That's good, we gotta be on this tree. But that's the high spot, that's what. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, fish on. Chad Potts is just hooked up with a giant bass. Oh, that's a good one. Up on top of that thing flat. The yeah, lead right now good one. Yeah, a good one. is almost five pounds. Chad's working him slowly to the boat. Chad, what'd you get him on? War pig. I hadn't got him yet though. <laughs> he's working him, he's in the driver's seat so he can get low to the surface of the H2O before lipping this giant bass. And there you go. I think we're about to see a lead change. Jeff Welch, your thoughts? Close, but not quite. He's got to be the 414. Let me let me take a look here. Was... Oh, nice fish. Four pounds. He's going to get there. 414 but... in the lead right now. Some air shrimp. Yeah. 
He's gonna be that same like four pounds, I think. Thought I might have had him though, as soon as I set the hook. Talk to me about the strike. You know, there it's there's little grass patches out here, so we're you kind of you can rip it through it. Four, right out four pounds. Good fish, just not quite enough to take care of Jeff, but we still got some time left. Chad Potts putting on a virtual bass fishing clinic. That's the way to go, man. Good job. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fish Burn is brought to you by Skeeter. Eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Berkeley. Catch more fish. Power Pole. Swift. Silent, secure. Techron, expect more. James Wood Motors. Visit our family at James Wood Indicator. Chad Pot just made reference to these, these grass patches that the fish are holding on. Chad, did that fish come off that log? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because he just said he caught it on grass patches. You say, yes, he did. Fish, I'm in tune with nature. That's right. <laughs> we got to get to that. No. This was all part of the strategy, letting Jeff know that they're coming off grass and hopefully he'd uh, avoid the log, but it's hard to keep a secret around here. Look at that, group. fish on. Chad Potts, you're amazing. Uh -oh. oh! That is a lead changer, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Welch, I got to tell you, your partner is putting on a show. It's a pretty good show. Look at him. We're just hoping for air shrinkage again. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be as good as that. Oh, he's a pretty well. good fish. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. He did. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the Chad Potts cradle land. <laughs> he utilized his right paw, went into that cold Arctic fresh water, and did a scoop and lift technique. Chad, could you show us that again? <laughs> that was called the linebacker. That, that was, my uh, friends, is a tremendous bass. That was just called I didn't want to lose it. Jeff Well. Do whatever you need to do. Your thoughts on that bass? Ooh, I haven't be really close. seen him yet. This one's going to be closer than the last one. What do one, I need? A five, no, four, a four, 14, four. and three eighths. We're just going to go with the full. Watch the scales. All right, you can see what's going on right here. Jeff Welch is moving in to help with the official. I'm, I'm gaining on him. It's a four three, but I'm still not. Still need a little bit bigger, but it's a good one. Still a good one. The good news is, Chad, that that tree has not moved. <laughs> We're still sitting that one up. actually wasn't on the tree. Aha! Sneaky. Did you retie that war pig? <laughs> He was that right one. on that. We he don't was know on that side of the tree. Got in here, but we don't want to lose a lure. Good job. He was on the right tree. That tree runs all the way back to there. Like you'll go over the tree. Professional athletes, ladies and gentlemen, know what they're doing. We all strive to have the skill and the, the dominance. Chad Potts is a professional angler. We're going to go back right now and give you another look at that incredible scoop technique landing in slow-mo. Why can't I catch a big one? All right, Chad, you got a choice. We can either burn the rest of the time and run way back up in this ditch, or we can go back down the timber side. Well, I, I don't care. I don't care either. I mean, there is a ditch back there, but I, just have, I could be wrong, but I just have a hard time believing there's not more fish living right between us and fish than the rest of the lake. But actually, I'd like to go fish the grass on that ditch. I think we can catch one out of that ditch. Obviously, they don't want something slow, and that's all we threw. I like the oh, God. bite. It's just my whole line went limp. <laughs> Do you have it? Did you yeah, have bite? Yeah, it hit it hard. Good. 
<laughs> I mean, it literally like knocks slack in my line. We've been doing Bass Champs productions for quite some time. I'm talking about 20 years. I don't know that we've ever seen a couple of anglers on the bow of a Skeeter boat with such a determined, dedicated, concentration face. These guys are taking this thing serious to the max. <laughs> it's weedless, that one but it's not further. treeless. <laughs> that went a lot further than I was expecting it to. Hey, we just, this is gonna be Christmas tree lake. We just Well, it. this is not one I wanna just pop back at me either. <laughs> <laughs> we call this time out. Yeah, that thing ain't coming off unless I get up there. It's it's probably wrapped around it four or five times. You're not getting it out? No, I mean, I probably could try and stretch it, but is this the best show you've ever filmed? Uh. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get close enough to it so I can break it off. Hang on, don't break it off. No, I mean break off the the branch. Really? Tell me when you're good, because I'm getting me back up. Yeah. Man, it's not breaking. We need a saw. You gotta be kidding me. Hang on, what's it? Dude, I didn't do that. Oh, Well, it appears that our anglers are having a little problem right now. Chad Potts is thrown into a briar bush. Got good and wet. Yeah, oh boy. All right, on day two. <laughs> okay. <Woo. laughs> wow. All right. I think I had a rain suit on. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Jeff Welch is now doing a Chad Potts lure change. He's, he's desperate. He's playing catch up right now as far as numbers go. He still has the lead currently. Should have done a five fish still, I'd be in the lead. <laughs> as you just heard, Chad Potts made a statement that is true. If it were a five fish limit, he would have the lead. However, he does not. <laughs> oh, fish on. No. Talk about it, Chad. I don't think he's gonna be as big, but still always, fun. I don't know, he get, he's getting bigger. Look at this, Chad Potts has a bass on. He's, he's darting under the boat. I don't think he's... Chad does not have control I mean, of his fish another, yet. Let me see. Just four pounder. No, he's small. Oh, I mean, great he's bass. Four, three, three. Oh, man, I don't think he's gonna get there. Just can't find, the, get the right bite. He's probably three and a half, I'm guessing. Three, six. Well, still fun every time. Chad Potts has figured out that the Berkeley War Pig with the chrome. The chrome seems to be the key. He said that when you have low light conditions, the reflectability off of the chrome against a blue hue, not a hue blue, blue hue, sends out a signal to the largemouth bass, come, come and get it. The problem is, is he's not catching many big ones. Well, dang it. Why can't I catch a big one? What are you throwing, that little crankbait? Yeah, just trying to get one more catch on something else. You're doing fine on four pig. So this is where it dips in right here. And pretty soon it'll come back out, I promise you. So what we'll do, we'll go up this flat and see if we can't catch a couple, and then we'll go back to that grass on that ditch and see if we can lose these. Obviously, they'll eat them in trees. Yeah. It's amazing they won't need a worm in those trees. Yeah, and I was sitting in there when you made that second cut. Yeah. Just wanted something to react across it. Oh, 
get blown up. Oh my God, couldn't have been a big one, but he freaking munched it. Really? That was cool though. Problem is he ate it too hard to be a good one. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Berkeley, catch more fish. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Techron, expect more. James Wood Motors, visit our family at James Wood in Decatur. Chad Potts mentioned to us early, early this morning, it was about a 3.30 call. We all got together to have a cup of coffee and a little breakfast. Chad said, good luck, Fishburn, because I'm wearing my baggy pants. Loves those baggy pants. This is the original Bass Champs rain suit. We, we, uh, we put a whole lot in production. We sold two and a half of them. This was like back in the day, like supposedly one of the best rain suits out there. It was a nice rain suit. It's 10 years old at best. It wasn't. Well, it felt mushy. I hadn't set the hook in a while, so. There's one. That's a good one, dude. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. I say that, man, he's heavy. <clears throat> he is a nice one. That's a good one. Oh, that one loaded up, Chad. Same deal you were. Yes, sir. Well, war pig strikes again. Well, if you only got to get one hook in them, that's the hook you want. Work with scale fired up. We're gonna need a new battery. I didn't think we were gonna use it at all today. Three O and an eighth. I'll take it. Three pounder. That one's the skinniest one we've got. All these ones we're catching aren't Florida's. Well, I, kn I know most of the bites have come from fast moving baits and over the grass and all that, but we're in a creek channel right now and I obviously need a big one and we don't have a whole lot of time left, so I'm just gonna try something different. It may not work, but at this point, you just gotta kind of punt, try something that we haven't tried yet. What's our time? One minute. Definitely not giving up, but it is, uh, it's been tougher than it I expected for sure. I agree. It's, uh, it's a struggle. And it keeps taking me or trying new places instead of wanting to go where the fish were. <laughs> All right. Last cast. There you go, time has officially ended. We're gonna ease up and talk to our anglers. Truly an incredible scene today between two of America's finest anglers. Jeff Welch and Chad Pot. Fishburn. Put, yeah. <laughs> Cut the drama. I was just trying to make the show a little better. Hey, we got a winner. Okay. Well, for, for you guys at home, <laughs> thanks for joining us. I got to tell you, the President's Cup really was a great time. I know I was a little mellow dramatic, but I enjoy being an actor every once in a while. Anyway, guys, congratulations. 
Chad, let's start with you. Things did not turn out the way you anticipated. No, they didn't. I uh, caught the first fish and I was I got a little uh, cocky there for a minute and then I, that ended pretty fast when he caught the bigger one and yeah. then I chased him all day long and I just didn't get there. You caught a bunch of fish. I though. did. I had a good time and I thought we had some that were going to be close, but I didn't I didn't make it. And you have a year to think about next year's present. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I think I'm going to start doing more crunches and stuff like that and get prepared for next year. Right, because of the physicality, it always weighs heavy. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I didn't realize it until now. Good luck next year. Thank you. Jeff Welch, I, sir, will present you with this year's and the everlasting President's Cup trophy. Once again, congratulations. I'll gladly take that fish. Thank you. We had a, we had a great day. We've done this event for 12 years now, and there's always a little tension in the boat, but this was probably the most laid back, fun, President's Cup ever, but I do have a built-in on my desk for this, and it kind of looks empty right now because we had to take it out to bring here. It'll go right back home. Gonna go Glad back. to be the winner. It's gotta feel good. A four pound, 14 ounce bass yep. is what it took to win the 2021 Skeeter Bass Champs President's Cup. I'm Fish Fishburn. I can't wait to see you next time. It's time now for Berkeley's Best Baits. The new Berkeley Water Bug is the perfect addition to your drop shot and Ned rigging arsenal. It features small arms that add subtle quivering action, even when dead sticking and the scoop tail catches more water, creating a subtle waving action. The bait's flat bottom and floating power bait material allow it to glide on drop and help level the lure on drop shot rigs. The Water Bug is available in two key sizes, a 3.3 and a 4-inch version, and it comes in 12 fish catching colors. And that's your Berkeley's best bait. Man, Chad put on a show today. You know what? I, I made mention that usually Chad's good for one or two fish. He had a, he had a 17, 18 pound limit. Dude, he outfished you big time. I'm confused. You, you got so lucky. Yeah, a lot of times.